Hello and welcome to this quick little tutorial on how to use NVIDIA's Shadow Player. Now, if you initially open up your NVIDIA GeForce experience, you will see a screen looking something like this with all these different options at the top here. First up, if you go to your games, you'll be able to optimise games and that will enable them to be optimised through NVIDIA. But that's not too much of a problem. What I'm talking about is Shadow Player. If you go into your preferences, click on Shadow Play, you'll find the options for this program. NVIDIA Shadow Play comes with the NVIDIA 600 series graphics cards and higher as far as I'm aware. So this is what the preferences look like. To enable de desktop capture, which is something I have enabled to be able to do this video, you click this little checkbox here and that will enable you to do everything outside of actual gaming as well. Overlays for the camera are simply this little green thing in the bottom right if you can just see it hovering over my um, taskbar there that is just like a little indication that there's recording going on and you can alter its position on the screen keyboard shortcuts I only ever really use one of these because I've got my microphone set to always on I use alt F9 which is toggle manual recording on and off there's also shadow recordings and they can do pauses and other things as well and you can also save your locations where your videos are put in the bottom section just here. The way that Shadow Play can be accessed is by clicking Shadow Play in the top right corner here, bringing up this little window. This switch with the green light here just indicates whether the program is running or not. Just click it on and off with the mouse click to toggle it on and off. These are all currently greyed out at the moment because I'm actually recording right now. But you can set your audios to have um, in-game sound, microphone, and alt also alter them independently. The quality is obviously wanting to be on high because that's the only way you're going to be able to get 1080. Shadow time is kind of strange. It, it constantly records footage while you're playing, but it only saves the last 20 minutes from the point that you end the recording. So this is good for capturing moments that you wouldn't have normally expected while you're cur currently recording at the time. But the way that I and most people who use this program will use this is to go into manual mode. Shadow Play records game footage in 20 minute chunks, which is why Shadow Time is at 20 minutes. You can alter that if you wish. When you're in manual mode, you get unlimited duration videos, but the game the, uh, and the footage, it, it chops it up into 20 minute segments or 10 gigabyte, whichever one's most convenient, I guess. But you can get unlimited duration videos using this manual mode, and you'll just need to use an editor to mash it all together later on. Uh, Windows Movie Maker does this just fine. So with all that said and done, the way to record is you start up your game like normal. You don't need to have this open in the background, and start playing, and at the point you want to begin recording, just hit the hotkey and you shall begin recording. And I'll just go into a game right now to demonstrate how that might work. So here I am in StarCraft 2. I've gotten to the point where it's past all the loading screens and stuff and I didn't want to record that. So when you're at a place in a game where you might happy to be starting recording, you just hit the hotkey, which is default Alt F9, and then you can just start recording as you wish. You can just do whatever and yeah, there's <laughs> the videos that you are trying to make. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching, goodbye.